It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Barry. a quick short video on my thoughts and feelings about Essen 2013, the International Spiel Festival Fet Fair thing. Let me say from the get-go that these are my opinions and my feelings. Um, I was unfortunately only there for one day. We had planned to go for more, but circumstances being as they were, we were unable to do a second or a third day, unfortunately. Um, so again, as I said, these are my personal feelings and the things that I experienced, so take them for what they are. Right. Number one, I'm going to put this in the bin. Uh, my overall impressions from the, from the get-go. There was staff on hand to cater for the parking, so the parking was a piece of cake, a walk in the park, and getting to the venue was very, very simple. Everything was organised brilliantly, all the staff were very helpful. Um, throughout the day. Uh, uh, when I got into the main hall, I was a bit shocked. It wasn't as spectacular as I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be uh, a bit more flair and pizzazz, a few more people dressed up in costumes. There were a few, but not a lot. Um, there was a guy dressed up as the Munchkin. Um, there was a couple of cy cyberpunks. Steampunks. Um, uh, so a couple in Star Trek uniforms, but that was about it. There wasn't really much to see. Uh, there was not a lot of spectacle. I don't know if, it, if the budget for these kind of things in America is a lot more grandiose than uh, Essen, but um, all in all, it was interesting. Um, it was very packed, which made it hard to view everything. Um, play everything, see anything, uh, and again I had my family with me so I have my priorities of looking after my daughter making sure that she was still there and we hadn't lost her. Everyone that I encountered there was extremely friendly. Um, I found myself, for example, walking in the crowd, going from stand to stand, and I'd see someone I'd recognise I'd go, oh my god, it's Jeff Anglestein. And Jeff Anglestein would turn around and put his hand out and say hi. And I was like, did I say that out loud? I must have. And the same happened with Eric Martin. Everyone I spoke to, they were really, really, really nice. And I felt like a super geek. And I felt like I was in the presence of Elvis Presley kind of feeling, you know. But Steve Bonacore, fabulous. Not Colby. Yeah, Colby Doubt. I had to think of that. Wonderful guy. Um, it was a pleasure to speak to him after hearing his story so many times on podcasts and things. He's a wonderful chap. Um, everyone was... It was amazing. There were film star, It was like film stars everywhere. And on your left, there's Bruce Willis. And on your right, you can go and talk to Mel Streep. Um, that was one thing. Um, I was stood with my wife and uh, Vlada Shavadu, Shiv he passed. And I wanted to go over and say something to him, and, but my wife was there. And she hates Galaxy Truckers, and I think she would have slapped him down. Um, I love Galaxy Truckers, on the other hand. Uh, but yeah, everyone that I met, wonderful, super. Um, problem was, too busy, felt claustrophobic, didn't get enough time to sit at a table. It was very hard to find a table, empty, to play games. Um, but everything was available. Uh, let me show you a video of what actually happened and what it looked like.
Okay, so these are some of the things that I picked up. I picked up these because I love this game and I couldn't, I can't find them in France. They're very hard to get hold of. Um, there were some promos for Andor, so I picked them up. Uh, my wife loves this game, um, so we picked that up. Um, that was relatively cheap, but that was because it was the German version, and I think that made a difference. Um, if you're buying a game in German, it was cheaper than buying a game in English. My wife loves to pick up games with nice covers, and she has a bit of a thing for Leonardo DiCaprio, so she bought this after not knowing anything about it. Uh, this is a, a long time thing on my wish list. Pick this up. This is for a friend. I need to send to them. I um, picked up also this interesting game and some fridge magnets and I'll show you what happens with frig ma fridge magnets and my daughter was crying and screaming to get hold of this she also picked up a copy of the Three Pigs um, yellow, yellow game that, which is king, kind of King of Tokyo-ish okay this is my fridge this is my fridge magnet But I found the perfect place for it. On my car. Okay. Now summing up for Essen 2013, because that's what I do. Um, it was an enjoyable experience. It was very hectic and chaotic. But it was an eye-opener. Um, don't go there thinking that you can buy the games cheap. Because sometimes they weren't cheap. Um, don't go there to, to buy the latest and newest thing which has just come off the shelf because sometimes you'll get there and it won't be there like I couldn't get Dixit 4. I saw it at the beginning, didn't pick it up because I thought buy everything at the end of the day. My mistake. Um, people, wonderful. It's just an excellent day out. Um, it was a privilege for me to, to speak, one, to speak English and two, to speak to people in the industry who you respect and have so many questions for but not enough time it was just wonderful for that as well um, you won't be able to squeeze everything into one day you can just about do it but you won't get a lot of, a lot of game board playing um, I've had friends say that they were there four days and they played about 20-25 different games so take your time don't rush if you're going for the full lot um, if you're just there for a day, you just have to have specific things, so go do them. But all in all, it was a comfortable, enjoyable experience, a very long day. My daughter crashed out in the car as soon as we got back, but um, I will go again. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. <laughs>